before I answer that question, let me share to you a personal story muna about sa akin kung saan ko unang natutunan yung lesson ng pagiging practical ng minimalism. So, balik tayo back in my college. So, nung college ako, I was able to start a t-shirt business with my friends. And since college pa ako nun, binibigyan pa ako ng allowance ng mother ko, ng money allowance. But since nga may venture kami nun, I was able to earn extra money. That's a time na nahook ako sa mga sneakers. I guess what makes me buy sneakers before is uh, I want to be cool or gusto ko maging part na astig na community. And if meron ako ng bagong sneaker na kaka-raise pa lang, feeling ko astig ako or cool ako. Then, naging mas conscious ako sa suot kong sneakers and sa mga sneakers na suot ng mga tao na nakikita ko. I don't remember what stops the craving of wanting more sneakers. Pero it came to the point of realization na hindi na siya, wala nang sense yung pagbili niya ng sneakers. It doesn't have a purpose para sa akin. And panadalian na lang yung joy of having a new sneaker. Parang after a few times na suotin mo yung sapatos, the magic just wala na. Parang nawawala na yung magic, yung saya of having a new sneakers. So, parang after nun, binenta ko online yung mga sneakers ko. So, ilan lang naman, hindi naman lahat. Tapos, after nun, two years na siguro yung inabal ko before I bought a new pair of sneakers. Now, let me answer the question that I keep on hanging. What is minimalism? So, the first time na narinig ko yung minimalism was with this guy. His name is Matt Devella. He always preaches yung uh, documentary film niya na minimalism. When I heard about minimalism, it wasn't about just getting rid of my stuff. It was about taking control of my life and stop being told what to do and actually deciding what I wanted to do. So, pinanood ko yun. And after watching his film, yung lessons from that movie stuck with me. To answer the question, what is minimalism? Let me share to you mga nakita kong definitions on the internet that I think would best describe minimalism. We welcome things into our life, but definitely with the intention of thinking um, about what we're doing as opposed to just um, consuming. Now, with the definition of minimalism being said, let me share to you the ways on how I practice minimalism. When it comes to buying something, ako, I personally, hindi ako bumibili ng biglaan. So, pagka may bigla ako naisipan bilhin, eh, hindi ko agad siya binibili. What I do is, nililista ko siya sa wishlist ko or nire-record ko siya. Basta I keep a record of it. Then, pagka naisipan ko ulit siya, that's the time na pwede ko na siyang i-consider bilhin. Pero hindi ko pa rin siya bibilhin. So, tatanoyin ko muna yung sarili ko. Para saan ba to? Meron ba siyang purpose para sa akin? And if nasagot ko yung tanong na yun and parang valid naman yung reason ko that's the only time na bibiling ko yun pero pagka hindi niya nasagot yung uh, question na yun babalik ko lang siya sa wishlist ko until dumating yung point na pumasok ulit siya sa isip ko and mag-serve na siya ng purpose para sa akin then that's the time na bibiling ko na yung isang bagay na yun I think one of the modern problem in today's world why we spend and consume unconsciously is kasi yung technology in today makes everything cheap and convenient and if iisipin mo, how is that negative? ang problema kasi doon is humans are generally undisciplined so pag nakita natin na nakasale or mura Bibili na agad natin. I remember there's a week na almost every day may nagde-deliver sa amin na online shopping and kalahati nung pinadeliver ng kapatid ko, hindi niya naman nagamit. Plus there's a time na bumili siya ng cellphone holder and yung cellphone holder na yun is so poor in quality and hindi siya usable. And instead of returning yun, tinambak niya lang sa bahay namin kasi sa sobrang mura, masiisipin mo pa na hassle yung pag-return nun rather than getting your money back pagka ni-return mo yung gamit na yun. So, Jack, anong pinaparating mo? So, for me, yung lesson doon is to be more mindful sa actions and decisions natin. Another example na sobrang hype ngayon is yung pag-travel. Uh, we preach to travel kasi it is, a, it is better to invest in experience rather than material things. Siguro yun yung pinaka-reason why we travel. Pero sa napapansin ko ngayon, parang hindi naman na yun yung purpose why most people travel. Parang karamihan, uh, 
is just to showcase yung social status nila or to repeat a photo na nakita nila sa Instagram. And parang wala nang sense, wala nang purpose yung pag-travel kung ganun din lang pala yung yung reason mo. I'm not generalizing everyone, pero I hope na more people would travel with purpose. There's a lot more ways na we could practice minimalism or apply it in our daily lives. Ito lang muna siguro yung mga topics na gusto ko highlight para sa introductory video ko with regards to minimalism. I'll talk more about uh, minimalism sa ibang mga aspects ng life natin siguro in my next few videos. So for me, how will I just leave it? Is that for me, Ah, uh, siguro minimalism is uh, a way of living na we're more conscious, we're more intentional, we're more thoughtful sa actions and decisions natin so that we can live a more meaningful life.